Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Testing Kayak with Alex. We have a really, really nice sit inside kayak, Loon 126 from Old Town, and the birds just jumped in. I asked Old Town to send me this over because I needed this type of sit inside kayak to make videos because I don't have a lot in the catalog, so they sent it over at no cost. But hey, dude, if I, I would tell you exactly what I feel about it, and I am. So just because I sent it over doesn't mean I'm not gonna be negative about it. Although it's been a quite positive experience so far. Watch a video. All right, so we got this band hooks kayak racks. So the, the problem with this car, I don't know if you can see it, it has this built-in racks right here. So you should get the one from Amazon that goes across and then the kayak will be on top. But I just wanted to test out these racks today see how they perform and tell you the truth they did well i mean i didn't go far i didn't speed up either let me show you what i'm talking about you see over there how they're tilted because they're not flat i'm gonna do the same thing on my truck and it should work right because <laughs> it's gonna be flat but if you have an suv that doesn't have the side rails then this will work perfectly perfect now the trick is bringing this down I think I don't think I have ever now we could use the roller again where's the roller let's use the roller again just put it here one down and then one there and let's just roll the boat gently down the stream okay it seems to be working maybe because this is a not a heavy boat at all but hey It, was, it wasn't windy at all. So this up right here. I wonder if this is gonna work, I don't know. One way to find out. It's a little tippet. This is a lone arm. Oh my God. Hope this works. Now guys, I've been waiting to do this. We got this new cooler from Blue Dot. He sent me an email saying, hey dude, you wanna, you wanna test my coolers? I go, dude, that looks nice. This goes on the back of the seat. Sent it over. I say, let me make a video or two. And let's we'll see what's up. So, got my drinks there. My water's in the car. This could just be there. So, we're going to put it there. But I want you to see it. You could also bungee it down. It's just that put the seat for like this. When you open, the eye doesn't come out. Something I really like about this boat. <laughs> and I didn't know it had until it came to me. So here it is. I didn't know this was a thing. So USB port. Let's open this baby up. I have a battery pack right here and it's already connected, right? So I have my little charging cable here and this rubber piece. I wish I had like something to connect so you don't lose it. Let me put it inside. And now let's go ahead and put this through this hole here. All right, so let's go ahead and charge it up. Oh, it's working. Haha. <laughs> And look at this guys look at this it has a bungee cable to hold down your phone and i don't trust anything so i have the phone still tethered to me so if something happens boom and what do we have here we are on the water guys we are on a sitting side kayak and we are charging the phone now you ask why do i need the phone there well let's say i want to want to see myself i don't know Turn it around and record. And record. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Kayaking with Alex. We're right here on the water on the Old Town Loon 126. Super cool kayak with amazing things like what you're looking at right now. Yes, I have my phone recording me. You can see me through my phone. 
this is cool man my phone only had like 20 percent batteries and i'm charging the phone while i'm doing this stuff because i have a battery pack in there that's huge see those little things why don't they make it on bigger kayaks make a smart kayak who's gonna make a smart kayak who's gonna be the first kayak manufacturer from the factory to do a smart kayak like seriously who now guys you clicked here not to hear my run but to see what's up with this sit inside kayak let's have it yeah i'm gonna put this on my pocket now i don't know if you notice why would you get a sit inside right look where i am it's basically two inches of water and i could paddle this craft through here with no problem i'm gonna keep the phone recording on purpose because <laughs> i think it looks cool this is a like cool uh, dude this is amazing here look 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 i'm getting even shallower i'm probably in an like inch of water right now oh the bird yeah. you hear that the kayak is touching the ground basically i'm still going and i'm going at a fast clip if you have a giant seat on top kayak or a pedal drive kayak or even a holy mirage drive kayak you won't be able to do this on this shallow of water so that's one of the reasons why you get a sit inside kayak look at this you, you're going through vegetation look at all this stuff right here we're going through vegetation here we keep moving whoa what was that i don't want no big animal chasing me dude Oh my god this thing kind of fly i'm not even making a an effort to paddle and we're gonna and the reason why the phone is here is not to record me but to actually record the speeds that we're going sorry about the noise the wind noise it's a uh, middle of the day here in florida i don't know it's not too sunny it's nice actually i'm trying to get a feel for this boat before we start talking about you know how good it is and all that stuff but so far dude like seriously I wanna go that way because the wind is on my back and you're gonna and you're not gonna hear the wind noise. But just paddling it from there to here, it felt so easy to paddle this thing. It just glides. That's one of the reasons why you will get a sit inside kayak. If you're gonna be paddling in really skinny waters, backcountry waters, not crazy moving waters that is you're not gonna like water's not gonna go in there and flip you. It will be it's an amazing craft and this boat has so many little good things that it's crazy but look at this look at this me going through the lily pads guess what would happen if this was a pedal drive kayak or even a motorized kayak I, I guarantee you you will not be going this fast look at this look at this guys look at this i'm just gliding over them this is some cool stuff just going through the lily pads, I haven't even destroyed one of them. Look at this. Whoa, that is why you get one of these boats. And of course, you got the extra added benefit of being lightweight, 60 pounds for a 12 footer on her off, and it's easier to handle, right? Now, of course, it has a huge disadvantage, especially for fishing, hardcore fishing. Like if you're gonna go ocean fishing, big water fishing, don't get one of these unless you get one with a skirt and all that stuff which is this that's not what you want but quick fishing trips like this calm waters dude this thing rocks now i'm gonna stop recording here in this camera i'm gonna go all the way over there and then we're gonna do a little test to see how fast this thing paddle with a gps enable tracking phone whatever i'm just talking like it's making it sound like huge mongoose big but guess what 10 years ago that was you mongoose big now it's like everybody has oh i have a phone i have a gps i have everything back in the day they didn't all right so let's just paddle hard get a feel for it and i'm not the best paddler ever i actually suck at paddling but you see how fast we're going even through the lily pads we just kill a lily pad with with the rope, dude. Who, 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 dude? I, I'm amazed. If you are a paddling guy and you like to fish a little bit, not much, and you always going places like this, really shallow places, not too crazy, super calm, dude. One of these things would work for you, hundred percent. If you wanna go hardcore, work, get a hardcore kayak. 
Oof. And this seat feels very comfy, dude. Very comfy. Anyways, guys, I wanna, I have the GPS here, but I wanna go slowly here and see what sort of speeds we get with the boat going that way, going slow. All right, so this is just putting the blade on the water, two miles an hour, basically. Easy paddling, like seriously, this type of paddling, you can maintain for hours and hours, three miles an hour. My wife is asking me if I'm going home already. <laughs> I'm like, I got here like two seconds ago. All right, three miles an hour, just going slowly. Like this kind of paddling, you could keep up forever. It says four miles an hour there. I win and stuff like that, reducing half a mile an hour, right? Let's say I wanna just hurry up a little bit, not, not go super fast, just, you know, I have a lot of energy. I'm six foot 11. I have strength, I'm super strong. I just wanna keep it like this. It's still four miles an hour. Oh wow. Probably before it was three and a half, now it's four. Not bad, like this paddling pace, I can maintain for a long time, for sure. And this is like four miles an hour, basically. Let's see how it turns. Nice. I'm gonna try to stand once we get to the shoreline because I don't want to do it here. I don't want to lose my phone or camera gear or anything like that. This is a sit inside kayak. It's not a stand-up kayak. Although, if you're athletic enough, I bet you could stand because these high walls here will give you balance and you're gonna be able to just stand still. But the second you like move a little, you're gonna find the water. But we're gonna try to do that over there in case, oh my God, that's a giant one over there, like humongous. We're gonna do that when we get to the shore. Again, I don't wanna lose anything. But now we wanna hit this thing hard. We wanna see if we hit five miles an hour. But what I love so far about this, and I just, just spit everything out, <laughs> is how easy it is to paddle. And it's not heavy at all. You get a kayak car like the Sea Tug, do your golden. Your golden, and then you use, like if you have a normal car, you use one of those rubber feet uh, racks from Bang Hooks and the roller, which I'm gonna link everything below, by the way, guys, maybe affiliate links. When you buy through those links, you support the channel because making videos like this is it's not cheap. It's not, it costs a lot of money, man, a lot of money. Now, enough talking, like Guga says, and let's just hit it hard. Two miles an hour, four, five, six, six, six six and that was the worst paddling technique in the history of paddlers like professional paddlers like yourself watching this you're probably like damn that doesn't know how to paddle what the heck just imagine we hit six miles an hour according to the gps and if it's on the gps it gotta be right right just imagine what you could do man you could probably hit seven Whew. this is some crazy stuff I'm so excited about this boat that I'm actually gonna take it fishing. Maybe tomorrow, not sure. Hopefully, after work. I can't believe I still have a day job. It's all because of a stupid YouTube robot. I'm gonna put this in this video. This YouTube algorithm is so mean to me. It is ridiculous. I'll make a video about five kayak mistake, mistakes every kayaker makes type of something like that two years ago 16,000 views really cool video like i put time and effort into that video I'm gonna link it below by the way and then hey what is kayak makes the same video basically i haven't watched his video but from what i see the thumbnail and and whatever it looks like it's the same idea of course probably different information because we're different people but his video gets like a hundred plus thousand views in nine days after his channel has been there for like a long time like i don't get it not now that his, his channel is dead i don't know i haven't checked the stat but like his new videos weren't getting that many views and this one just blows up and i have like two videos like that already in the system and youtube doesn't care youtube doesn't care about this channel so if you happen to make it all the way to the end and you like this video make sure you tell the robot that you did like the video and click like so maybe we'll take notice and be nice to us.